Welcome to Legends Unearthed. In this journey, we delve into the heart of Europe, a continent steeped in mystery and lore. From the fog-laden hills of the north to the sun-kissed shores of the Mediterranean, each story we explore is a piece of a larger puzzle, a fragment of our collective past. Across the vast tapestry of Europe, legends have been passed down through centuries, echoing the hopes, fears, and dreams of generations. These stories, etched into the very soul of the land, continue to captivate and inspire. But what truths lie beneath these tales? What secrets are yet to be unearthed? This is Five Myths of Europe on Legends Unearthed. Let the journey begin. The Legend of King Arthur In the mystical isles of Britain, shrouded in the mists of time, arises a legend that has echoed through the ages, the legend of King Arthur. A figure both historical and mythical, Arthur's tale is woven into the very fabric of British lore. Arthur, a leader of unparalleled bravery, rallied the Britons in a desperate struggle to defend their land from the fierce Saxon invaders. His story, chronicled in medieval histories and romances, transcends the mere acts of war. It is a saga of heroism, duty, and leadership. Central to this legend are the Knights of the Round Table, a symbol of equality and unity among Arthur's loyal followers. Among these knights, tales of gallantry and chivalry abound, setting the standard for knights in the medieval world and beyond. Then there is Excalibur, the magical sword bestowed upon Arthur, a symbol of divine kingship and unbreakable will. And behind the throne, the enigmatic wizard Merlin, a guiding force and a figure of wisdom and mystical power. The most sacred of their quests, the pursuit of the Holy Grail, takes our knights on a journey beyond the physical, a quest for purity, enlightenment, and ultimately, redemption. Despite the triumphs, the legend of Arthur is one of both glory and tragedy. Camelot, for all its splendor, eventually falls. Yet the legacy of King Arthur endures. His story, a complex tapestry of love, betrayal, heroism, and magic, continues to inspire and teach us about the dualities of human nature. In the fading light of Camelot, where shadows of myth and reality dance together, the legend of King Arthur lives on, an eternal symbol of a hero's journey, a guide through the labyrinth of human destiny. Dracula and Vlad the Impaler In the heart of 15th century Romania, a prince rises to power in a land besieged by war and betrayal. This prince is Vlad III, son of Vlad Dracul, destined to leave a mark of blood and controversy in the annals of history. Ascending the throne in a time of turmoil, Vlad III faced a kingdom fraught with conflict. Determined to restore order and authority, he resorted to extreme measures. His preferred method of punishment, impalement, struck fear into the hearts of his enemies, earning him the grim title of Vlad the Impaler. Vlad's reign was marked by constant warfare, notably against the encroaching Ottoman Empire. His unyielding and gruesome tactics in battle were both feared and revered, painting him as a figure of both brutal tyrant and national hero. As centuries passed, the legend of Vlad the Impaler crossed paths with the pen of an Irish author, Bram Stoker. Inspired by Vlad's reputation and Transylvanian folklore, Stoker crafts a new immortal persona, Dracula. In the pages of Stoker's novel, Dracula emerges as the quintessential vampire, noble yet monstrous, a predator lurking in his gothic castle, preying upon the living. This creature of the night was a stark contrast to the historical prince, yet he bore his name and shared his homeland. Stoker's Dracula became a cornerstone of the gothic horror genre, inspiring countless adaptations and interpretations. The character transcended its pages, becoming an icon of horror and the supernatural, influencing popular culture across the globe. Today, the lines between the historical Vlad the Impaler and the mythical Dracula blur in the realm of legend. 
Both figures, one a man of history, the other a creature of fiction, continue to fascinate and horrify, embodying our deepest fears and our fascination with the darker aspects of human nature. In the shadowy corridors of history and the pages of fiction, the stories of Vlad the Impaler and Bram Stoker's Dracula remain forever intertwined, echoing through the annals of time as a testament to the enduring power of legend. The Tale of Ragnarok In the ancient lands of the Norse, where the sea meets the sky, a saga of gods, giants, and the fate of the world unfolds. This is the tale of Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods, a prophecy of destruction and rebirth that lies at the heart of Norse mythology. Here in the realms of Asgard and Midgard, the gods of the Norse pantheon reign. Mighty Odin, the All-Father, Thor, the Thunder God, Loki, the Trickster, and many others, each playing their part in the cosmic drama that is to come. Ragnarok is not just an end, but a series of events, a tapestry of betrayal, strife, and heroism. It begins with a great winter, three successive seasons of unending cold, leading to wars and moral decay. The sun and moon are devoured by wolves, plunging the world into darkness. The final battle is monumental, Gods and giants clash on the fields of Vigrid. Odin faces the monstrous wolf Fenrir. Thor duels the world serpent Jormungandr, and the world is engulfed in chaos. In this cataclysmic battle, many gods meet their heroic but tragic end. But from the ashes of this apocalyptic battle, a new world arises. A world reborn, fertile and alive, where the few surviving gods and human beings come together to start anew, foretelling a cycle of destruction and rebirth inherent in the fabric of existence. Ragnarok, with its rich tapestry of fate, heroism, and renewal, speaks to the heart of ancient Viking beliefs. Its symbolic meanings resonate through the ages, influencing modern interpretations in literature, art, and media, reminding us of the cyclical nature of the world and the enduring human spirit. The Basilisk, the King of Serpents In the depths of medieval Europe, whispered in hushed tones and etched in ancient texts, a legend was born from fear and fascination, the tale of the Basilisk, the King of Serpents. Imagine a small village gripped by fear. Livestock found dead, no marks upon them, as if struck by an unseen force. The villagers speak of a creature lurking in the shadows, a beast so terrible, one glance could end a life. The origin of this dread is as strange as the creature itself. Born from an egg, laid by a rooster and hatched by a serpent, the basilisk emerges, a serpent with the crown of a king, a gaze of death. Word of the basilisk spreads like wildfire. Tales of its deadly gaze, its venomous breath, and its lethal presence cast a shadow over the land. The mere mention of its name brings a shiver to the bravest of hearts. Into this tale of terror steps a hero, armed with a mirror shield, and the courage of a thousand men. Venturing into the serpent's lair, he faces the basilisk, not with brute force, but with cunning and bravery. In the heart of the lair, the hero confronts the basilisk. As it prepares to strike, the hero reveals the mirror shield, turning the basilisk's deadly gaze upon itself. With a hiss and a shudder, the beast falls, defeated by its own power. Though just a legend, the story of the basilisk endures, a reminder of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows and the enduring human spirit that rises to meet them. The Saga of Siegfried In the misty realms of ancient Germanic lore, a saga unfolds, a tale of a legendary hero whose name echoes through the ages. Siegfried, the dragon slayer, the fearless warrior destined for greatness and tragedy. In a kingdom of might and myth, Siegfried is born, son of a king, destined for heroism. His tale begins with a test of bravery and skill. Young Siegfried, 
bold and eager for glory, ventures into the world to make his name known. Gifted in the arts of war and smithing, Siegfried forges his own sword, Balmung, a blade of unmatched power. With Balmung in hand, he sets out on a path that would lead him to immortal fame. Siegfried's destiny leads him to a fearsome challenge, the dragon Fafnir, guardian of a cursed treasure. In a battle of strength and wits, Siegfried slays the beast, bathing in its blood, which renders him invincible. Yet, with triumph comes a curse. Siegfried claims the dragon's hoard, including a ring that stirs envy and greed. This treasure, known as the Nibelung's hoard, becomes his greatest bane. Siegfried's heart soon finds its match in the beautiful Kriemhild, a princess of Burgundy. Their love, pure and true, becomes entangled in a web of royal intrigue and deceit. Tragedy strikes in the form of betrayal. Siegfried, beloved hero, falls not in battle but by the hand of treachery, struck down by those he trusted. His death marks a turning point, spiraling into a tale of revenge and sorrow. The saga of Siegfried, etched in the annals of Germanic and Norse mythology, unfolds a tale of heroism, love, betrayal, and fate. His legendary journey, from the triumph over the dragon Fafnir to his poignant and tragic end, resonates deeply, speaking to the heart of human experience. In the echoes of the ancient forests and the pages of history, the legend of Siegfried endures, a vivid testament to the hero's journey, the impermanence of glory, and the timeless power of myth. As we conclude our odyssey through Europe's most captivating myths, we're reminded of the enduring legacy and profound depth of these stories. From the valorous King Arthur to the valiant Siegfried, each legend offers a unique window into the human experience full of heroism, intrigue, and timeless wisdom. If this journey into the heart of Europe's mythical past has captured your imagination, please support our channel. Like this video, share your insights in the comments, and subscribe to Legends Unearthed for more explorations into the realms of mystery and adventure. Your engagement is invaluable in bringing these age-old stories to a new audience. Stay with us for more excursions into the rich world of folklore and legend. Until we meet again, keep the flame of curiosity alive and let the legends of yore illuminate your paths.